Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Moto Flight Guy here, and this is the first video where we're going to be turning wrenches on the Barn Farm Thorpe T18. But first, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the hangar, show you what I did to prepare for this big of a project. So stay tuned. So before we start working on the airplane, I'm going to show you what I've been up to the last two weeks since I actually brought this thing back to my hangar. Uh, it's a fairly big project that I'm getting ready to undertake, so I wanted to start off with a clean slate in terms of how the hangar slash shop was set up and organized. So I'll walk around and show you some of the new tooling I got, how I organized the parts to the Thorpe, and just generally how I prepared to tackle a project as big as this. So starting on the left side, got the bar table. You guys have seen that. Nice little lounge area, hang out, eat. Got a TV going up there. My girlfriend got me this rad sign a while back and I finally got a pallet backdrop built for it. So that's super cool. Little custom hanger sign there. And then my main workbench, this was just a total clean out on the bottom, reorganized some stuff and revamped the top, cleaned the top up ordered this rubber workbench mat from Amazon and just tacked it down on the workbench. So my main workbench with my vise is all clean and fresh and ready for work. Moving over here as we wrap around the side of the hangar, finally got my air system up and running. That's a 30 foot retract Flexilla hose. Uh, can reach pretty much everywhere in the hangar with that. I did put a regulator up here and filter so I can turn down the air pressure since we will be doing some riveting later on in the project. That is a Harbor Freight bench grinder stand. Super nice. Got it on clearance and got my uh, bench grinder out there where I can use it and works real well. This is the 26 inch series 2 Harbor Freight box. I already had the bottom box in another location so I did some swapping around and brought the bottom box out here and just got the top box. So now all of my tools out here at the airport are all in one toolbox. Super nice to have that. I did not have that before, so that was a must. And coming around here, got the air compressor. Um, these old cast air compressors are just great. And this, I built a little table to go over the top of it. This is kind of my electrical area. I've got my connectors, soldering station. And then just a little magnetic strip up there for tools I use all the time. Got a parts washer given to me, so I'm gonna get that up and running. We'll be needing to clean wheel bearings and motor parts and all kinds of stuff, so I'll have a parts washer to do that in. Coming around here, clean, totally cleaned out all my rack shelving and got everything, tried to get everything labeled so I'm not hunting for stuff. Added this shelf here so I could properly store the Thorpe parts and then you move around here. Here's the wing center section. I was able to ditch the wing rack. It took up a lot of room and I'm not working on the center section yet. So it is safely hung out of the way. So with that and the shelf for the extra parts there, and then you can see the ailerons and the flaps down here. 10 minutes I built a rack to store those. And my main goal here was to get all of these parts stored away properly so that nothing gets stepped on or nothing tips over and gets damaged. So it's really a shame when you don't store stuff properly and it actually just gets damaged in either transport or storage, which is even worse. So these were kind of awkward to deal with and the best way was just for me to build a little wooden rack. That way they're secure, they're not gonna fall over, they're not gonna get tripped over, stepped on and things like that. So. I kind of got everything in its own place for now during the rebuild process until I'm ready to use it. Moving around the right side, these cabinets were in the corner so I finally got them mounted up, built another bench with a spare door. Uh, this isn't a heavy duty workbench, it's just a nice flat level surface to work from because this left outboard wing structure is going to need uh, reskinned. And so it gives me a nice flat table to work off of and get that rebuilt. This is on the back burner right now. This is not the focus yet. I'm gonna get the fuselage done first. But as you can see, I built a little stand 
to hold it, which will just make it easier fitting the, the skin up to that. Uh, more on that later. Got an engine hoist here that I borrowed from our airport manager, and then as well as the engine stand, which is obviously staged up so that we can get this motor pulled off this airplane. So I, as you can see, I've got some stuff disconnected here. That's what I've been working on over the weekend. And we're gonna try and get this engine yanked off this airframe here in a minute. And the last thing, picked up this three shelf service cart from Harbor Freight. So the idea is everything is stored in the main toolbox, right? And then depending on which task I'm working on, whether it be engine work, airframe, wiring, landing gear, um, I grab the tools that I need to do what I'm doing at the time and they migrate over here to this cart and they can be staged in the top and they're right here within reach when I'm working on the airplane and I can move this cart around. And then whenever that task is complete uh, at the end of the day or whatever, I can clean up these tools and they all go back to their home over there and this is reset and ready for the next task that I'm going to perform, which seems to be working out really well just because it's modular and it's mobile. Um, I did add a screwdriver holder, or paper towel holder, and I've got some hand wipes there handy. And the other thing that I'm doing, if you can see down there, I've got these parts bags. So everything comes off the airplane and it gets tagged and bagged basically so that I am not guessing or hunting for stuff when this thing goes back together. But anyways, let's get this engine off this airplane. My camera cards are full so I gotta use my phone to finish this up but the engine is off of the airplane and it's safely cribbed up here for the night I'm gonna get some help tomorrow and get it on the uh, engine stand over there I wasn't comfortable trying to attempt that myself but it's stable it's off I did have to so I had to pull the uh, left mag off to get it out of the mount. Either I had to pull the left mag or I had to pull the vacuum pump to get this to come out of the uh, dynafocal mount. And because of the way these stupid vacuum pumps are, 
You can see that nut down in there. There's basically a special wrench to get to that nut. I started to take it off, realized that, said screw it, pulled the left mag off, and uh, I was able to wiggle it right out of the mount, no problem, by myself. No damage, nothing torn up, everything labeled and organized. I've got a lot of tools to clean up, but ready to rock and roll. So basically the reason why I'm pulling the motor, um, as you can see, I'll go up here and show you guys. Uh, the engine mount's painted and it's all flaking off. And it does have a few spots where you can see a little surface rust where it's been off of there. So basically I want to pull the engine mount and the gear A-frame so you can see a real good shot there of the Thorpe A, they call it the A-frame gear. And I'm going to pull the gear and the mount off the fuselage, sandblast those. We're going to die penetrate test and make sure all the welds are good. And then uh, I'm going to take that to a powder coater and get it powder coated gloss white and put everything back on. So that way I'll have peace of mind with the mount and the gear. I don't have any hairline cracks and it should be good to go for, you know, as long as I'm going to fly this airplane with it being powder coated. So that's where we're at. So there you guys have it, the engine removal on the Barn Fine Thorpe T18. As always, I appreciate everybody who watches the videos. Be sure and hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, I'm gonna keep the build videos coming fairly regularly. So if you wanna keep up on that, hit subscribe. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next one.